Pandey, Saxena Ji, Mr. Sani Ji, I think, and Mr. Sikdar Ji. Nice seeing all the faces in the industry whom with I work. And it is a really a nice feeling that uh, today we are talking on a subject which is very relevant to the changes which are happening to the industry. People are talking about IoT, people are talking about say net zero, people are talking about hydrogen, and the changes which is going to come up in fuel. So all these things are relevant, but the most important thing at the end of it is the safety. We have seen a small sick concern about the safety if we don't look into and create a havoc. We have seen Bhopal tragedy, how it happened, and what was the magnitude of that. So as a designer in Ingenious India Limited, we do take of these things in two modes. One is passive mode, and other is active mode. When we talk of passive means, when we design the thing, we take care of these passive mode things, like when we design, say, any P90s, we do do, we do, do the hijab, we do to carry out, say, acid analysis, we do carry out, say, low pi studies, various studies which, is, which are relevant to the safety of a plant, we do that. Not only that, we also consider, see how the dynamics of safety plays when the actual operation happens. And of late, we have faced many such situations where we have to be very firm with the client that we don't want to budge in our safety. So they have the requirement of space, and they have to say spell upon that we have to carry out this analysis, and then you have to give us some leverage. But as EIL, we don't budge into that. So this is the kind of safety which we have to integrate in our plant. I will tell you something about which happened to us, because prior to my, prior to my talk, uh, something was talked about the material. And one incident which I just recall, and how it was important for the safety purpose, that we design a plant for one of our clients. And that was a very new technology based on, say, wet air oxidation. And when we designed that plant, somehow we overlooked the material component. And that was giving us a continuous barricade, backlashing, whatever you say, about the continuous operation which was not happening. And it took us almost two, three years to realize that where the mistake happened. And when we realize the mistake, we just choose the right material, and thereafter, there was no complaint afterwards. So this is the importance of a, and that was triggering to the safety aspects also, because there was a lot of leakages which was happening, gaseous leakages. So we have to integrate uh, say the safety in our culture. And I am not, I am very happy now to announce that the plant which was, say, we were get, getting backlashes is now working perfectly for two, three years. So this is the importance of a safety of the material which you select and the operational excellence which you get over a period of time when you, rail, when you get into all the, the aspects of safety. Uh, not taking much of the time, because time is already uh, uh, up, I would like to uh, say, give you an example, wherein basically recently we were trying to find out how EIL should go ahead with the hydrogen, how EIL should adopt the hydrogen, say, in our system. So we have formed a group. And during the formation of group, we have all the engineers, we have process engineers, we have got the engineers from EWS, we have engineers from rotating equipment, we have, say, the engineers from our R&D. But we missed one, and that was a safety person. 
and then when we realize that if we don't take into account the safety right from the beginning itself, we would be doing a major mistake. So we included them in our portfolio, and that group would be basically looking after the all the hydrogen space or the, the uh, carry forward which EIL is going to have. So this is the type of safety you should inculcate in your system right from the beginning. And then when you inculcate the safety right from the beginning, then the whatever development which are going to take place over the period of time, whatever technological solutions which you have got, you have to incorporate. There should be no laxity in that. People talk of machine learning, people talk of IoT. I was just discussing with one of my colleagues that can our say this system can be dynamic to analyze the anything which is going to fail, go fail. So yes, we can do it. Now we have got such so much of data from our systems which can be analyzed and can be put into the say forecasting. 